Hello and welcome to this episode of Forward with Forley. I'm really excited to show you this leash life hack that I discovered recently. But first, a little backstory. A few weeks ago, a friend of mine called me, uh, sort of in a panic. They were on a hike, on vacation, and they accidentally broke their dog's leash. And this is a big deal in the guide dog world because you need both the leash and the harness to be effective. Uh, you need the leash for leading the dog and you need the harness so that the dog can lead you. So naturally not having one of those tools makes it very difficult to handle a dog. Uh, so they asked me what they should do. How should they fix the situation um, and continue on with their vacation? And like most people in the field, I just suggested uh, that they go to a local pet store, find a flat leash that's uh, designed for large breed dogs and then order a regular, uh, what we call a double leash, or a, a guide dog specific leash when they get home. They could also try you know, knotting the leash or duct taping it, I've seen that done before. Um, but I think I found a better solution to that. And it took me a little bit to think about it, but I've got it and I'm really excited to show you. So let's check it out. You're gonna need two things for this life hack, a flat leash. Uh, in this case, I'm using an Alaska Airlines themed one that they gave me. Thumbs up Alaska, hashtag I fly Alaska. They're not sponsoring this video, but I really believe that they have a great product. So check them out. And the other thing you're gonna need is a carabiner. Uh, this is a medium sized one. You could grab one off your water bottle or your backpack, whatever. And this leash is ideal for this because what it has at the far end of it, this leash is like six feet long, is a loop. Um, where maybe you would like stick it over your wrists or something like this if you're walking your dog like this or um, You know securing your dog or something and all we're gonna do here is Take our carabiner. I know there's a lot of leash going on here. Let me kind of make it easier for you to see Okay, so we have our loop open and we're gonna open up our carabiner and we're going to simply slide the carabiner into the loop. Close the carabiner. So you have a, the loop and the carabiner. And now effectively what we made is a double leash. Uh, double leash meaning it's doubled over on itself. These are This design is very common in the guide dog field. And so now what we're gonna do is take our carabiner and connect it to the bolt snap, which is the spring-loaded clip that looks like this that connects to the dog's collar. There's a nice big space here to do it on this particular one. And now you have a double leash. And again, these are really common in uh, the guide dog field. And this is basically um, the same design as that. And it will definitely get you uh, out of a bind. So let's try it out. things to consider uh, when making one of these leashes for yourself. First of all, make sure you, you get a leash designed for a large breed dog. Even if you have a smaller sized Labrador, you still want to get a leash that's designed for a large breed dog. That's going to give you the most control and peace of mind when creating this. Especially if your dog's leash breaks unexpectedly, you're in an unfamiliar area, that's just one less thing you have to worry about. Um, you know, just having a strong leash uh, and especially if you have a dog that requires um, a lot of strength to, to manage. Uh, the second thing to keep in mind is um, find a leash that's going to be comfortable for you and your dog. Uh, the leash I was using was pretty lightweight and that, um, believe it or not, makes quite a bit of difference when doing things like uh, collar cues or leash gestures, even just healing the dog around. So you want to be aware of that. Uh, a replacement leash or a backup leash is probably not going to feel the same as a standard issue um, double leash that's used uh, for a guide dog. Um, 
unless you have a spare one, then of course it'll be very similar. Uh, so keep that in mind as you're developing um, this and, and using this. Uh, third and finally, this is not a replacement for standard issue equipment. You knew I was going to say it, and it's true. Uh, you want to, you know, use this to get yourself out of a jam or, you know, whatever whatever the situation might be. But I would not use this every day. Now, if you wanted to create a special uh, themed leash, if you will. Um, for example, if I wanted to use this Alaska Airlines uh, branded leash, maybe at a, an event or a, a meeting or something with them, you know, and I wanted to kind of show, show it off, um, just something kind of cool and interesting. Um, I think that's acceptable. I would certainly contact your school's training department and tell them your idea, tell them what you've got for equipment, um, take maybe a little extra care in finding a good uh, carabiner or second uh, bolt snap. Um, to make it work well. I hope you found this leash life hack to be helpful. Uh, I would recommend um, building one of these spare leashes and just keeping it uh, with all of your equipment and things that you grab when you go um, on vacation or go traveling. Um, just in case, you just never know, it's good to have this available. And um, I definitely am gonna keep a couple of these around uh, myself. Feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for watching.